Now, hear this. It's important. They exploited her vulnerability. They sold her out. She planned with somebody. There are some of you looking at me now. Friends have sold you out. They sold her out. That's what I saw in that story. An agreement between two parties. One sold her out. What secrets have you told people and you heard it in public? What have you discussed privately with people and it was in the marketplace? You are in a generation of shamelessness. No generation has been as shameless as this generation. This is the most shameless generation the world has produced. The most shameless. I'm being honest to you. No people have no shame and they don't care. Shameless. There are things that will come out of people's mouths. You are asking what happened to shame. There are things people will do. You say what happened to shame. There are actions. A woman will drag her husband to public space. And begin to explain all that happened in their house. What happened to shame? After entertaining the public, there is life after that. Nobody will trust you. Nobody will relate with you. When you have a person as a target who you are fighting, understand that others are watching. No shame. People have no shame. A man will leave one party after insulting opposition party, he will enter that same party. Shameless people. Somebody will abuse ruling party, abuse ruling party, abuse this ruling party. And now he's with the ruling party, abusing the party he or she was before. And I'm wondering, what happened? What's going on? People are decamping. When they don't like this anymore, they move to this party. There are some people that have been to every party. They have been in every party. There's no party they have not been to. They've, ah, this party doesn't. So long they realize the ambition. They move. This one says it's not possible. They enter this one. From there, no. They enter this one. From there, no. They enter this one. They said no. They move to this one. Everywhere. And now they are insulting the party that hosted them before. And the current party is not wise enough to know that they will soon insult them in case they move again. Shamelessness everywhere. But there are people who have been with one party for years. They realize ambition or not, they are there. That is dignity. That is dignity. A young man said I should father him. I said, no problem. I said, tell me about your history. Who do you relate with? He now listed about four fathers he has had in two years. He said, this one was my father. Until I got close to him, I saw some things I didn't like. This one was my father. I saw some things I didn't like. This one was my father. I saw some things I didn't like. This one. He said, so I just prayed and I saw you. I said, now you enter my office. I've heard some things I don't like. Can you go outside? I've heard some things I don't like. Outside. Before you add me to the list. So anywhere you get to from here, now by the time you say I've met Apostle, your own report will be, he drove me away. So, I can't father you. Because Elisha never submitted to a perfect mentor. He submitted to a perfect mantle. It's the anointing that is perfect, not the anointed. Am I communicating here? Not the anointed. Make sure you leave your comments below for more updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.